Hi, I'm a BOLUS student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the possessive singular of nouns. How to make a singular noun possessive. So the answer to this question, quite simply, is to add apostrophe s regardless of the ending consonant of a word. So this makes sense for a word like tree. The possessive singular of tree is trees. And this is what we would normally do. You would say a tree's leaves. It gets harder with a word like Charles. What we often want to do is just put an apostrophe on the end and say that that is the possessive singular of Charles. This is incorrect. We need to add apostrophe s despite the fact that Charles ends in an s. So the possessive singular of Charles is Charles's. And another example mess, if you want to say the messes smell, I don't know, uh, you have to add apostrophe s, regardless of the fact that it ends in an s. Now there are some exceptions to this rule, but they are very seldom used. The possessive of Jesus is just an apostrophe. There's no apostrophe s. Also, the possessive singular of ancient names, ending in es or is, is just an apostrophe. So an example of this is Moses. The possessive singular of Moses is just with an apostrophe. It's not with an apostrophe s. Another example, Isis. It's just an apostrophe. And one final exception is when, in a sentence, you have a word that ends in an S sound, like goodness, and you want the possessive singular of goodness with a word following it that starts with an S. So like, goodness's sake, for goodness sake, you just put an apostrophe. It's not goodnesses. Another example of this, righteousness sake. So except for these small exceptions, you add an apostrophe s when you want to form the possessive singular of nouns, regardless of whether the final consonant is an s or a regular content, or a regular letter. This has been a Bullis Student Tutor video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, uh, please like, favorite, comment, and check out our other videos on our YouTube page. Thank you.